Hi, my name is Mikey. I'm 35 years old, and I'm addicted to compiling shaders in Unreal Engine. Now, this all started about two years ago when I was quarantined during COVID, and I was actually bored out of my mind. And all of a sudden, I saw this commercial on TV about this engine called Unreal Engine 5. It actually blew my mind. So that same day, I grabbed my laptop and installed Unreal Engine 4, which is just the previous version of it, since 5 wasn't out yet. And I just decided to play around a little bit, maybe create a silly, scary horror game. And when I was making this makeshift horror game, I realized that the real engine is actually much bigger than just a game engine. The quality that you're able to get out of it right away instantly blew my mind. And that was it. I was hooked. Not long after that, Epic Games released this environment called the Medieval Environment, which is a free environment, photorealistic environment that you can download in the marketplace. That's where I first saw compiling shaders. Hi, my name is Mikey. I'm 35 years old, and I'm addicted to compiling shaders in Unreal Engine. Now, this all started about two years ago when I was quarantined during COVID, and I was actually bored out of my mind. And all of a sudden, I saw this commercial on TV about this engine called Unreal Engine 5. It actually blew my mind. So that same day, I grabbed my laptop and installed Unreal Engine 4, which is just the previous version of it, since 5 wasn't out yet. And I just decided to play around a little bit, maybe create a silly, scary horror game. And when I was making this makeshift horror game, I realized that the real engine is actually much bigger than just a game engine. The quality that you're able to get out of it right away instantly blew my mind. And that was it. I was hooked. Not long after that, Epic Games released this environment called the Medieval Environment, which is a free environment, photorealistic environment that you can download in the marketplace. That's where I first saw compiling shaders.